For years, Cyprus has profited from its two major industries, finance and tourism. But now, with Cyprus facing its worst economic crisis in decades, could that have an impact on its tourist trade? For local shop owners like Hari, tourist numbers are already dwindling. Compared with last year's sales, March has been a slow month. For us, this kind of shops in Lidra Street, which is now one of the biggest and more touristic roads in Cyprus, it was March was to be the, um, the turning point of the year, let's say the opening of a touristic season. And now we see that still end of March, we didn't have had this change yet. To compensate for this, shop owners in Nicosia have extended their opening hours. They're already on a summertime calendar a whole month in advance, opening on Sundays and for longer during the week. And given the financial difficulties facing the country, business owners are all too aware that more change is likely to follow. It's time for us to adjust everything, the way of thinking, the way that we import or the way that we sell, the quantities, everything now. There weren't a great deal of tourists on the streets of Nicosia. Those we did find were a little concerned about the current financial problems, but not too put off by them. Last week we were panicking a little bit as well when we heard there won't be any cash anymore. I guess if they um, sort their problems out, we might come again. And if they don't? Well, we might think about it. Yeah. The Cypriot people, however, remain resilient. After all, Cyprus is a country with a history of invasion and conflict, and nowhere has the determination to overcome its problems been more evident than during recent protests over Cyprus's financial situation. I feel that we will survive. Either way, we will survive. We've done it for a lot of time. We've survived the Turkish military invasion in 1974. I, I survived that, that in the bombings and uh, huge poverty, we will uh, resist. Because we have to give for our country, and uh, it's OK, we will overcome this. I'm very sure about that. It's a small crisis, but we will be all united, and we will make it. But given that things are likely to get worse before they can get better, the optimism here may be short-lived. Here in Nicosia, the cafe culture continues, albeit with a reduced number of customers. And it's not just in terms of tourists, but local residents too, leaving many to question what the future holds for local businesses here. Natalie Powell, JN1, Nicosia.